All right, let's go on a little night walk. Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. Today we're taking a look at another weapon light from Olight. This one is billed as the world's most powerful compact weapon light. Has a maximum output of 400 lumens from a Cree XPL HI LED. And it's powered by a 260 milliamp hour built-in lithium polymer battery. So they call this the PL Mini Valkyrie. You guys probably saw my video a while back on the PL2 Valkyrie, which is a much larger, much, much larger, but much brighter package. In that video, I stated that I preferred this one on a long gun, like my home defense shotgun, and this one is perfect for a handgun, for a pistol. So, we'll do a, tell you what, we'll just strip the slide off. That way we don't got to worry about it. This is the Glock 19 size. It's a Glock 23, same size as a Glock 19. I think everybody knows what size that is. But it is truly ambidextrous with switches on either side of the light. And you can turn it on momentarily just by pressing the switch. And when you let off, the light will go off. And you can turn the light on by clicking the switch, just pressing and releasing. Now the light stays on. And it is, uh, you know, it's 400 lumens. It's still a bright little light. The size will fool you. You know, it looks like it wouldn't be that bright. It's got such a small lens on there. It just, uh, it really surprised me at how bright this little booger was. Also, just for demonstration here, this is my Elman P22. Fits right on there. Now it comes, uh, with adapters to fit either the Glock reel or the 1913 Picatinny style reel. Right now I've got the Glock reel in there. It's a little more narrow, so it will also fit the 13. But if I was gonna run it on a 1913 reel all the time, I would go ahead and put that 1913 adapter on there just so you get that better fit. So here's a up close look at those adapters. It's got the Glock adapter on it now. Here's your 1913 adapter. Just goes right into that spot. Take that one off, put that one on. Comes with your screws and even a wrench to change them out with. So that's pretty cool. Now, one thing I will say is you'll need from your rail to the front of your trigger guard, you'll need at least one and three quarter inches to get this to fit in there. The reason I say that, there are some uh, subcompact models that these lights won't fit, but it, as long as you've got one and three quarter inches from your rail slot to the front of your trigger guard, it should fit. It fits, uh, it fits most of my compact guns. The, there are some uh, like subcompacts that it won't fit, but you'll just have to measure for yourself and see if it fits for you. Really nice little light, super small package, really slender, sleek looking, and doesn't upset the balance like a uh, like this large light on a compact handgun. It, you can really tell it's on there. You know, it, it's not terrible. It's not something that you couldn't get used to in a little bit. But if you like to keep that balance, that factory handgun feel balance, this is a great light to do that with. 
Look at that. It's actually just, you know, the, uh, the locking lever is a little wider than the frame, but it's actually not that much wider than the frame of the pistol itself. It has a 71 minute runtime rating from a full charge. Now, you're obviously not gonna be able to get 71 minutes at 400 lumens from a light this small. So what this thing does is lowers the power output gradually over the first 10 minutes until it gets down to about 60 lumens and that's where you'll get the rest of your runtime. Now, of course, you can switch the light off and back on to start the cycle all over, but that will cut into your runtime. So it does come with this USB charger. Just plug it into a USB port and it is magnetic. It'll stick right to the charging port there located on the bottom of the light. Got a charging indicator light here. It'll glow red while it's charging and once it's charged, it'll turn green. So very straightforward, very intuitive, uh, easy to figure the charging part out. But now this thing also has an IPX6 a waterproof rating and what that is is that means it's going to handle any thunderstorm you may get caught out in any rain showers now it's not submersible but to get that ipx6 rating it has to pass a test where they spray it with water jets uh, for a certain amount of time and a certain amount of water and it's, it's a pretty stiff test so it's going to handle any kind of thunderstorms or thunder showers or anything like that if you were to get caught out just for comparison's sake here it is sitting next to the PL2 Valkyrie, which is a great light. This thing is 1200 lumens, and it's like having sunshine with you when you go out at night. Now, it is a large light, and, and it's pretty large for a pistol. This is a much more compact light. You're going to keep a lot of your handling and balance of your pistol with a light like this. Now. I talk about how bright this one is. 400 lumens is nothing to sneeze at. That's still a very bright little light, just in a lot smaller, more compact package. All right, guys, so we'll close this video out kind of like we started it out here on a little night walk. We're on the road down to the Buffalo Range. You can see fence to the left here. That's for our mini farm over here. And the fence on the right is actually my property fence. On the other side of that belongs to somebody else. So as we walk down the road here, we'll light up a few trees just to show the brightness of this little light, which is amazing for the size of this light. Now, I do wanna say and make sure that you guys understand that Olight sent this light to me for free. It didn't cost me anything. They sent it to me to review and show it to you guys to help get the word out it is a new product hasn't been out long so take that for what you will i can tell you this they've never asked me to say anything good about their light they just asked me to review it and that's what i'm doing i'm telling you guys the things i like about it now whether you buy from olight or from anybody else i'm not saying there's not other good lights out there because there sure are but I do recommend that everybody consider a light on their home defense gun. It's very important to be able to see what you're shooting at, identifying your target. So, and I don't make anything off of these if you do buy one from Olight. I'm just, uh, I'm just telling you the things that I like about it. So, just wanted to, do, just wanted to make sure you guys understood that. I'm not trying to mislead anybody here or, or anything like that. Here's a big giant tulip poplar tree. We'll light it up. Now, the thing about this uh, camera is you guys aren't getting the full effect of what I can see. The camera automatically senses, whoa, there's a bunch of light and it tones it down. So I don't know how to use the manual settings in this camera. Sorry about that. But in person, this light is a lot brighter than it appears on camera. I learned that from my last light review on that PL2 Valkyrie. But that is a giant tulip poplar tree. Guys, that's really all I've got on this light. If you're looking for a very small micro 
sleek slender light for your pistol I would definitely look at this one before you buy something else make sure you don't don't want it so uh, that's all I really got this is Buffalo and I'll talk with you guys again soon